I got a lot of questions about what type of footwear you should wear when you sing. So we're going to go talk a little bit about heels right now. Ladies, it's not so much the size or the, the height of the heel, but the stability of your shoe. So we're going to do what we call the tap test. I've got two similar shoes here, one substantially higher than the other. But believe it or not, this shoe is better to sing in. And why? I'm going to show you. We're going to do what's called the tap test. When I tap this shoe, it basically goes nowhere. When I tap this one, it rocks. Look at that. Just like a rowboat that's going to capsize. So when you sing in a shoe like this that jiggles back and forth very easily, you're using your core strength to keep your body stable instead of applying it to your singing voice. Now, if you do choose to use a higher heel as such, one thing you must remember is the higher the heel, the bigger the lordotic curve. So ladies, when you have these heels on, make sure as you take your breath and you start to sing that you press that pelvis forward and get rid of that lordotic curve. We get that pull down going on in the low back. Very important to do. So I tell my uh, singers many times, the concept is sing with your weight on your heels and not your toes. And of course, gentlemen, I'm not leaving you out here. When I have a male singer come in and he's complaining of support and problems with his voice, I also check his shoes. And if a female's wearing flats, I check in the same manner also. You want to look at the heel of the shoe and see if there's any excess wear on either the inside, which is the medial side, or the outside, which is the lateral side. That indicates that that person has a pelvic floor imbalance, which is affecting their voice. And that needs to be corrected by a qualified therapist or chiropractor.